So, lately I've been warming up to using Fusion 360 for turning, and it's pretty cool. I'm starting to like it. There is, There are one or two things that I think are maybe strange with lead-ins and lead-outs, but all in all it's pretty cool, and I plan to use it uh, more and more in the future. So, I am using Mach 3, sometimes I'm using Mach 4, so wanted to have a post-processor that could work uh, for those two uh, control softwares. So I think I have something that's uh, a pretty good start, and I figured I would make a, a quick YouTube video about it and throw it on Dropbox just in case anyone else would like to use it. So I have a real simple job here programmed, uh, facing operation and a profile, uh, nothing too crazy. And this is what it looks like. So that's really basic stuff. And I just wanted to use that to uh, demonstrate the post processor that I, I'm working on right now. So let's post that out. And here we go. So there's the code. Really, really simple, really basic. I have a, a, a stop, an MO, after the tool change. And um, I've eliminated the uh, codes to force the, you know, like G28 home position, because that, in my experience, doesn't seem to work really well with most of the mock setups that I've had. Um, so, once again, really basic code, but I want to open up the post processor and just touch on a few things that I think are relevant for Mach 3 and Mach 4 users. So, well actually even before I post it, let's go to the the post processor screen. So this is a modified modified version of the generic uh, FANA post processor and I'm going to assume that you know, you're probably familiar with all the uh, options and features and everything here in, Mo in Fusion 360 in the post processor window. So here's the uh, user defined properties. So there's a few things here that are important. Most of this is self explanatory, but uh, two of them that you want to look at. So first is the type. So this is talking about is this FANUC type A or FANUC type B? The FANUC type A options, you can see them right here. This was, you know, some of the FANUC type B options. And as far as I can tell, um, Mach 3 is trying to be FANUC type B, and Mach 4, which I believe is better software, is trying to be FANUC type A. So depending on what uh, software you're using as a control, you need to change a few things. For instance, um, well, this one right here, feed rate per revolution. So in Mach 3, that command is G95. In Mach 4, that command is G99. So, you know, that's something that's kind of important. So, if you're in Mach 3, you want to set this to FANUC type B. If you're in Mach 4, you set that to FANUC type A. Another option here that I think is important, this is something uh, that I added, it's the ability to reverse arcs, or basically to swap GO2 or G2 for G3, vice versa. And the reason why that is important is, at least what I've found, you know, most manual lathes that you convert to CNC, the tool post is sort of like in the front. But I think Mach 3 was kind of developed with the idea like the tool post would always be in the back. Um, so when I configure uh, my Mach 3 uh, XML, I always have to check that little box. I forget which which screen it's on, but there's a little there's a box where you can set, check, or there's a box you can check that will say reverse arcs in the front tool post. And what I've found is if if you don't do that and you are using the uh, like a standard you know manual lay that's been converted where your tools like in the front. What happens is when you go to use the wizards, 
the arcs are reversed. So you'll you'll go to use a wizard to create some code, and you'll look at it on the back clock screen in mock, and the arcs will all be crazy. So on all the configurations I've worked with, I always have to check that box, reverse arcs in the front tool post. Therefore, I feel that I need the ability to set that in the post processor. So I've added that. So if you're like me and you have that box checked, you can reverse arcs in the front to, in the front tool post. If you don't need to do that, you just can set this to no. Uh, so once again, let's look at the posts. Run this code really quick. Okay, there's the code. Let's open up the post processor. And you'll see really quickly this is pretty much mostly a generic uh, post processor for Fanuc with just a few changes. So if you uh, search for the word Franco, you'll see 11, that's in here 11 times. And just search through here, you'll, you'll see all the things that I've, I've changed. So uh, I added a few parameters or a few variables. This is for used for doing the arc reversal. Um, changed a few of the things that happen at the you know the safe start part of the program. So if you're in type A, it does one thing; otherwise, it does something else. So you can you know you can see what I've done there. I've just added a few extra commands. Uh, I told you I, I usually get rid of all these calls to activate G28. I find that doesn't seem to work well on all the mock configurations that I've set up, so I just don't use it. I like to force the MO after a tool change. All my tool changes are manual, so I need to stop the program to make sure that that happens. Here is some more code that I added to facilitate the reversal of arcs. And I didn't comment it, but I also, normally this would say two or three. I just swapped it out for the variables that I created. And then finally, um, I skipped all this code that, um, you know, writes to G28s when you home out the machine. It just, for me, it's more headaches than what it's worth, so I'm just not doing it right now. So there you go. Very basic post, but just with a few changes that I think work uh, with Mach 3 or Mach 4. So I hope you find that helpful. I will save a copy of this out on my Dropbox location. That'll be in the description of this video. And as I work with this post and make more changes to it, I'll you know continue to update it and I'll update the file that I put in Dropbox. So thank you for watching this video if you uh you know please like and subscribe if you're inclined to do so and uh have fun and be safe